Hi, Cancerians. Welcome to your Astro Guidance, the number one authority for your astrology. Astrology authority. I think I love that. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, welcome, welcome, one and all. We're going to be discussing an important time in your life. Depending. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I get in trouble for me laughing. But... <laughs> If you're a moon in Cancer, hold up, hold up, okay, because Saturn is, oh, dear Lord. Good news for Cancer Ascendant, okay? Moon in Cancer, maybe we need to work on something, okay? So, anyhow, okay. this is your Astro Guidance. Um, we're going to discuss Saturn Transit in Aquarius. Very, This is going to be a big event for a lot of people because... We would look at two planets, Jupiter and Saturn, when it transits because they stay longer in that specific house, Zodiac. Okay. Now, this is based on Ascendant and Moon sign. If you don't know your chart and your placement and if you want to get your 2023 prediction, get the Astronova. It's down there. If you want to attend the Astro Guidance, it's a it's a basic course for everyone that I'm uh, that I have opened. It is you can still enroll there, um, so that way you can ask me on your your chart. It's going to be a group, and I'll be discussing different things on how to interpret your chart in a very basic way. Okay, so that you guys can look. Ah, so now I understand. You understand me? So go down there. Alrighty. So, whoo. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> so, I did a reading for Cancer Ascendants for Tarot. You know, and I mix Ascendant, I, I mix Tarot, of course, in astrology. In, in Tarot, I already saw that, you know, like, if you're with someone, it's guaranteed to last forever because it's a gift from the divine when Saturn has exited your seventh house, Okay. Mm -hmm. If you have a business, you're working with someone, all those promises that you guys have made for each other is guaranteed to last you forever. Cancer Ascendant. Okay. For the moon signs, um, I, I, I forgot what it's called. Okay. When, uh, when Saturn transits eighth from moon, it does bring us certain challenges. Okay. And you can ask a moon in Gemini how it has challenged them, okay? <laughs> ask an, a, a Gemini. Um, here, it's just, it, it, you may feel um, stress. You may feel like, I want to do something, but I can't. You may feel, um, depending on your dasha, under dasha, you may feel like certain things that you're trying to manifest, it's not coming into fruition, gives you frustration. And if you're frustrated, it, it, you know, it affects what you're manifesting. So what actually happens here is, that it can create certain obstacle okay, with your finances. It can also create certain obstacle okay, um, with regards to health. This is for moon in cancer. I'm, I'm dividing it for, for the cancer. okay, Because it will have a different effect from moon sign and also ascendant sign. For you guys, you guys are treated special. okay, um, Because you, this needs special attention. Okay? This is when you are in the ER and then you, the doctor says, stat. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I need cake, stat. <laughs> That's me at work. I need donut, stat. What does stat mean anyway? <laughs> is it urgent? Like that. So um, this is the time where if you have a Saturn Dasha or Antar Dasha, this is a time where a person will come to an astrologer or someone who practices divination to seek guidance. Okay. A lot of my clients are going through that. All right, for one and one. If you want to book on a one and one, it's down there. So what it does to the relationship for a cancer ascendant, gorgeous. Gorgeous time. Gorgeous time. Now, depending again, are you a moon in Gemini or are you a moon in cancer? <laughs> because I'm seeing it here. Okay. Good time starts for Gemini, and then Cancerian, of course, um, has you know will have some sort of challenge. All right, and from what I'm seeing here, it can be related to finances. Okay, um, it can be related to taxes. Okay, it can be related to inheritance. 
it can be related to um, health issues, like what I mentioned already. But this is not to scare you because it doesn't mean like a cancer ascendant, a cancer moon will suffer for two and a half years. Not at all. It's selected days only. Like in the 365, that whole 365 days doesn't happen where Saturn rules everything. No. No, not at all. But it's going to be a trying time. We're just starting it. Saturn is in zero degrees. It's going to be a trying time. So mind, mentally, you need to condition yourself. Okay? Because only there you can manage what is coming. Okay? Because we don't serve here, like in astrology-wise, I'm not giving you uh, predictions. It's like, oh, no, scary. No, it's not. It's actually to prepare you. So if you're prepared, you're not starting to be scared. That's why we practice, you know, Jyotish, so that, you know, you get enlightened. You know what's coming, then I'm going to manage my stress. I'm going to manage my expectation. I'm going to manage my finances. I'm going to manage this. Because you have your free will. But if you want to live in the dark, and it's like, ah, whatever. Then when SHIT hits the fan, you know, with the, with the things that I have discussed, then you basically set up yourself to failure. Because you fail to plan. You know? And fail to plan is plan to fail. Mm. And you're smart, though. Right. So, um, again, depending on your dasha and your anter dasha. Okay. Because those and your atma karka, your highest degree, you know, all those, your navamsha will matter. Because it doesn't mean that you will have this all, cha all this thing, all, all challenges. The cancer ascendant may have even um, increase in income. Cancer ascendant. If you have a business, money comes to you. Because eighth house is what? Money of others. If you deal... If you deal with other people's uh, money, are you an uh, what do you call an entrepreneur? Uh, you invested in something, then something comes towards you. Good times again, good times. Um, from what I'm seeing here with um, with the Saturn Eighth House, if you're Cancer Ascendant, then it's going to be good for your inheritance. It's going to be given to you again. Okay, a lot of blessings here, a lot of blessings in the Eighth House. Okay, but it is a Dustana house. But we want a malefic planet in the Dustana, which is the 3, 6, 8, 12. Okay, these are hardship houses. Um, it does get better through time. Okay, these are challenging houses. Okay, but it will get better through time. You know, like, I just have to explain this. Of course, we're not predicting um, death here. But 8th house is death, right? And it's inheritance. But someone already in the past has left to, the, to a better side, right? Then the death is hardship. But through time, because the person was able to give you inheritance, then you feel like, oh, like a relief at the same time. But it was taken away from you, but given something to you. And that's the eighth house. These are sudden things that happened, but we're not predicting death. But you understand me. Hardship first, reward later. The thing with the eighth house, it's unpredictable changes. So if you and if you um, if you plan now, like okay, I'm gonna live for that day only. I'm not gonna stress myself with a lot of things, with different things in my life, right? And you play it safe, calculated. Then you're able to foresee what is ahead. Not the best time to take risks. No. Saturn will aspect the second house. Food, savings, money, relationship with the family, which can cause strain. Because where Saturn looks, it will destroy. Aspect the seventh for you. Okay? But in your career, amazing time. Mm -hmm. In your career. In your, uh, um, how to say this? In your studies, amazing time. You're going to university, amazing time. Mastering a new skill, amazing time again. It will give you, you know. But you have to manage your health, your eating habits, your savings, manage that. Relationship with the family, because your family may need you, your support. So this is a time where you prepare yourself. It's two and a half years. We're just starting. You have time. Saturn gives you the time. That's why it's so long. So that, okay. Imagine Mars. Mars, you don't have time to prepare. Like, I'm not saying like there's any accident, but Mars is the karka for accident. What does Mars do? Surprise, accident. It's like, wait, you didn't even give me time to prepare. Yeah, I don't do preparation. 
I just give you accidents. That's what I do. Saturn doesn't give accident. Saturn gives you time. Two and a half years. Okay, so what's your plan for February? What's your plan for March? What's your plan for time? Two and a half years. You have so much time here to prepare. Okay, other planets will not. Your ascendant lord, moon, does it give you time? No. The moon does not give us time. It's actually like, oh, what's next? What's next? It just keeps moving and running and moving and running. Right? And that's the amazing thing with Shani. Mm -hmm. It will give you time to do the work. But people don't like the whole like time. They want it now. And Saturn here says, like, I'll give you longevity. Saturn in the eighth house. I give you longevity. If you have a natal, uh, uh, your natal chart, you have Saturn in the eighth. Longevity. Mm -hmm. Depends though, again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Depends. But I've seen it. Saturn in the eighth, in your natal chart, you'll have a very long life. Saturn in the twelve, long life also. Okay. Because you are given time to work on your karma. <laughs> Basically, that's what Saturn is doing. All right? But there's a lot of things that we're going to discuss. This is just me coming back to Astro Guidance, which I know people have been waiting for. Um, if you want to attend Astro Guidance right there, you have your natal chart. Let's discuss that in the class. It's a Zoom. If you can't attend the Zoom, you're going to get a recorded um, class. Um, if you want to get your chart, it's down there again. So go get it. Um, what else? And I think um, that's it for now. So I will see you in other astrology um, topics that we're going to be doing. But put in the comments, what are the things that you want me to discuss astrology-wise? I'll see you then.